Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo and this is Mass Effect 2, which we're picking up from, uh, well, from the end of Mass Effect 1. So, I will import my Mass Effect 1 character, which I believe is this one. Um, this is from the Mass Effect 1 playthrough that I finished the other day. Um, and we're just going to move straight on with this. So, I'll import the character, and we'll get started. And I believe we get a nice big cutscene at the beginning, and this episode will mostly just be setting up and beginning the game. Far more interesting load screens in Mass Effect 2 than the first game, and better than that, it's far more um, PC friendly, which is really good. I'll turn the subtitles on, I got a lot of good feedback about leaving the subtitles on, I'll leave all that turned on, um, I will turn off uh, auto level up, that's what we want there. So. We'll do that by hand, and we'll leave the combat difficulty at normal, which is what we played the first game through on. And, uh... So... This was where we got to. We were a soldier. We followed the Paragon path. Rex survived. Alenko did not. And the council was lost. So that's everything we need to know. Um, here we go. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. Humans may control the Council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just 
need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. The Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Commander, Ashley, go. Now. Aye, aye. I didn't speak anything through there because I really like this introduction cutscene. It sets the scene um, for what's happening really well. And of course, this is quite dramatic. So, especially this part. It's a pretty cool way to sort of begin the sequel to your first game, killing off the main character. So, I have to admit, when I first saw that scene, I was pretty uh, surprised by it. And, uh, yeah. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned.
Okay, so we get to sort of define how we're going to look for the second game and various other things. I'm not going to change too much up, I don't think. Um, so we'll just see how we look at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll accept our imported face. Um, and I think we'll continue to be a soldier. I had thought about switching up to um, going over to being a infiltrator, which is what I normally do. The main reason I don't play infiltrator in the first game is because of the sniper rifle mechanics in the first Mass Effect are really dodgy. Um, and it takes a long time for them to get to a point where sniper rifles become usable because you have this sort of artificial sway in them that isn't available. But I think we're actually just going to stay soldier um, for this one. So, and I have a bonus. Ah, that's right, because they've changed the way ammo works. Um, I can't remember what any of these do, to be perfectly honest. I feel like shredder ammo or armor piercing ammo might be the best option. Um, I can't remember what Reeve does, so I don't know. Um, how about go shredder ammo? We'll take that. Um, so we'll use that. Um, we're going to keep the hairstyle and everything like that. Um, you can change it up. I think we've lost our facial scar though is one thing that's happened with that import. But that's okay. I'm happy with the way she looks and the way we've imported her. Her hair looks a bit nicer in the second game because they redid all the hair models. Um, we will confirm that we are happy with that. And we will continue onwards. Reacting to outside stimuli. Showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Okay. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Um. Okay, so uh, ah, my mouse sensitivity is all over the place here, um, and I am actually going to have to fix that up because that's actually really annoying. So I'll just see if I can't. Uh, Turn down that uh, mouse sensitivity. There we go. Camera sensitivity low. Might have to do that actually. So we'll just see if we can't uh, get that to happen. We also actually leveled up then, so I will assign powers to. I think we'll actually assign it to combat mastery uh, for the moment. So we'll purchase that rank. I have another squad point, but I don't have anything to spend it on yet, so we won't do that. Um, so that's cool. So we'll do that. Um, and I think that's about it for the moment. Um, oh, yeah, the camera's still a bit funny. There's no controller support um, on the PC versions of this either, so. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. So, the other thing to get used to is that the uh, interact key in um, this game is the space space key rather than the. Uh, is the space key rather than the um, E key like it was in the first game, so gotta get used to that as well. So, so it's a bit of a shift. Um, ah, 
See, there I was pressing E to interact with the door. Where is that mech? It's over there, I can see. Other thing to um, waste of ammo. Other thing to note um, as we we can shoot up from there. Oh, there. Hang on. Taking heavy fire. New controls are weird, guys. Why'd they change them? There we go. Um, so yeah, the controls are a bit different in this game, and the camera sensitivity is way up, and I'm doing stuff that I keep forgetting to do. So just have to get used to using the space bar. As I said, there's no control or support. And I'm going to keep pressing E. Previous weapon. Keep opening doors. Bypass the wall space. So we get the new hacking mini game, which is good fun. Um, so it's basically time based. Um, we just click on things. It's a lot more uh, PC friendly than the old version where you had to do the sort of circular stuff all the time. Um, and there's another kind of hacking as well. Oh no, misclick that. No? Am I missing one? There we go. There's a timer on each one too, I forgot all about that. But that's cool. So, some credits. Mark update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. Progress is slow. Subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Um, if you're wondering whether or not that's an Australian accent that uh, Miranda has, it is indeed an Australian accent. She's played by um, Yvonne Strahovski, who you might know better as. Um, You might know her better as uh, Sarah from the TV show Chuck, which was on a few years ago. Fun show. Oh, no. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, that's really fun. Uh, pull power. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Is that it? No. Move my mouse over the pull power. I don't know where the pull power is. Ah, there it is. I think that means he'll do it, doesn't it? Falling back. 
there. Well, whatever. We're getting through this. It's all good. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if Check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Well, that seems like a really good idea. Grab that clip too. I'm never going to get used to the mouse in this game, I feel. You've been spotted. Damn it, this room is falling. Find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get... Oh, God. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh, God! I'm hit! They shoot on me! First time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. There we go. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay. Maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Oh boy, you can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttle. These mechs don't know when to quit! That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. There's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. 
but after we've saved our butts. Yes, data pad. Ah, so this is the other way you hack things in this game, is you have to find target code segments, uh, which look like that, and you have to avoid the ones that don't look like the ones, and you have to do it all before time runs out. So, uh, I think I just missed one that was supposed to be the one I was looking for, and now it's not giving me that one. And you have to avoid those red X's, and I'm not going to make it. Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, crap. We seem to have infinite time with this one. Um, but we are running out of credits, and I cannot... There it is. Right. Sometimes that happens, as well. I think it's really clever the way they do it. It's much better than uh, in the first game. All around, this is probably actually the best of the Mass Effect games. Um, just from an overall perspective. But I like the first one a lot for a lot of what it does, and because I have a bit of an attachment to it, and I think that the first game... Sleep mode ended didn't, um, the first game did a lot of things that the later games don't do. Oh! Blast. Gotta remember these robots explode. Try and get some of those heat clips, get a reload. One thing I don't like about the second game is that they changed that reload mechanic from the overheat mechanic, but I understand why they did it. Uh, I've got him. I mentioned in one of the first game videos that it was to do with um, the fact that if you create uh, gun setups that yeah it allowed you to create gun setups that um, by the way I actually have an ammo power that I should probably activate um, ammo powers for Shepard remain permanently active um, regardless of what you're doing, what guns you're using, and everything like that. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Right, well, there we go then. <laughs> Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? You've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. 
Fifty Marines died in a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? With the Council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new Council. I recommended Captain Anderson to lead it. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, so the elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. There's a lot of stuff we can do just here for the moment. Um, like we can talk to Jacob. I wouldn't keep the elusive man. Except we waiting. can't. We got to wait. We got to talk to him. So we'll do that. Um, I just want to check my squad menu again, just to make sure I didn't level up or anything like that. Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll just uh, quickly make a save while we're here. Nothing bad will happen, but I want to get a save game happening. Um, oh, and we have one of these now, too. Um, and I think because I have certain DLCs, yes, I can actually have different kinds of armor. So, yeah, that, that'll become important later on. Because this is how armor and inventory is done in Mass Effect 2. If you're not familiar with the way the inventory system in this game works, it's a little bit different uh, to the first game. So, um, and I'm going to switch over from the N7 to the Kestrel um, armor, which is actually a DLC armor that I've got access to. Uh, so we're going to activate all of that. And of course, you can also set how you want it to look. You have a lot of customization options. Um, I'm not going to play with these uh, quite yet. But I just thought they'd be worth having a bit of look, having a bit of look at, so you can see uh, how they work and everything like that. But we'll just apply all that, and we have a casual appearance option, which again, um, <laughs> there's a couple that are quite funny. We'll, we'll unlock one later on when we do one of the DLC packs. I've got all the DLC for this game. We will go through all of the DLC uh, for this game. It's all intended to be done basically before you finish the game, except for one mission, which is sort of designed as a link between this game and Mass Effect 3. So we may do that after we finish this game, I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and Egeth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. 
If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. Expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Okay, and we level up again. And we got a bunch of experience. And we got that. These information boxes will appear all the time um, as we do this. And you can see sort of the way they layer up as they just keep appearing until they all go away. Um, so again, that's a new thing in Mass Effect 2 that wasn't in the first game. Um, I should... And we get Paragon points. It's much clearer about when you do and do not get Paragon points. So we got three squad points then. Um, I am tempted again to whack those points into Combat Mastery, which apparently I can't seem to do. Ah, yes I can. There we go. So we'll purchase that rank, um, and we don't have anything else to put in. So we'll hold on to that other squad point, and I will uh, save the game. Um, and we will continue on a little bit, um, just for the moment. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Yep. And I will talk to Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, we're going to leave this video here for the moment, um, so I'll just, I'll save again, um, and that will be the end of this video. So, this is the beginning of Mass Effect 2, um, and it's going to be more of the same, I suppose, with more people, different people. Um, it's going to be another long journey, and I think it's going to be a bit more fun than the first game. I like the second game a lot more in terms of the way it plays. Even if I feel the first game might be a little bit stronger in the way it tells the story, um, I think the second game 
the storytelling drops off a little bit, but um, that doesn't mean it's any worse though. So we're going to have a bit of fun with it, and uh, we'll get through more of it. Um, it'll be on the same release schedule as the first game, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday on my YouTube channel, um, for those of you who've been following along. Or you can always just catch up, it will be in its own playlist, separate to the first game. Oop, just bumped my mouse there, that was annoying. Anyway, so that's this video, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.